Hi, this is David uh, with the Enzo Training System. Uh, this is a post-mortem of the year 2021 as far as our uh, system goes. Uh, what kind of uh, performance, uh, obstacles and technologies uh, we developed. Uh, coming out of the 2020, uh, 2020 was uh, relatively uh, easy. Uh, back then we were only trading a spot market and only on Bitcoin. And uh, we ended uh, the 2020 with uh, almost 120% uh, profit with 26% uh, uh, maximum drawdown. Uh, it was actually uh, a lot easier to track performance because we were only on one market. Uh, there was no uh, dynamic leverage. Uh, there was no position sizing uh, or portfolio management uh, to deal with. And, uh, and it was also uh, a fairly uh, good year. Uh, because uh, at least the last couple of months of the year, the, uh, there was a major bull run and it's actually what propelled us from about 50% uh, profit to uh, almost 120% profit. Uh, 2021 was uh, definitely different. Uh, I divide the year in the three major phases. The first one was uh, the first five months. Uh, there was a lot of uh, exuberance. Uh, the market was uh, going up and uh, leverage was showing uh, very good uh, potential and, uh, and actual profits. I, it was followed then by the uh, summer where, uh, where the, the, the phase for the market and for us was one of decline. And then uh, the last uh, two, three months uh, where we finally reached a newfound stability, uh, which I think uh, should uh, continue uh, well into the future, but uh, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, to see more in detail, the exuberant phase of the market was uh, yeah, when it touched uh, first uh, whole time high at uh, about 65k and uh, we introduced initial uh, diversification, only uh, four major uh, coins added to Bitcoin and um, this worked well on the way up, it didn't go, uh, work so well on the way down. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, what happened on the way down, uh, the main problem was really that uh, the diversification on the negative side of the market didn't go as well as uh, on the positive side of the market because uh, uh, all those uh, uh, major coins, they, they followed uh, Bitcoin quite closely and uh, even with uh, uh, more volatility and uh, so it was more negative volatility. Uh, th this is the phase where uh, we decided uh, to speed up the work that we already started to uh, optimize uh, more in terms of uh, maximum drawdown and uh, optimize both uh, the expectations, uh, both of the uh, live and uh, backtest uh, level from uh, pure profit to profit over risk. And also we started adding uh, more markets because we realized that those initial five uh, uh, weren't uh, clear enough. And we had the support for Bybit uh, and then we did some uh, internal refactoring, which uh, was uh, useful to continue uh, to add features. Um, the, the last part of the year, um, it's where we, uh, I think we reach finally uh, the stability that uh, I wanted to see. Um, this was a, f a further change of the algorithms uh, where now the focus uh, uh, it became really more from optimizing for any specific market to uh, optimizing uh, to an ensemble of markets. So we now uh, really focus on uh, working with the 15 plus markets uh, and uh, the algorithms they don't, uh, they may, uh, even if an algorithm doesn't work well with some of the markets, even if, um, for example, an algorithm uh, doesn't work well with the, all of a sudden doesn't work well with Bitcoin, uh, the system doesn't really care, uh, we'll allocate uh, uh, the, the position sizing and the portfolio management will allocate the resources to any other market uh, that uh, goes well. For example, uh, the last week, uh, most of the profit uh, came from uh, Atom coin, uh, while uh, Bitcoin is not producing uh, anything. This is but due to the market and in part also due to the algorithm. Um, so in this phase, I think uh, we pretty much uh, feel confident coming into the next year. Uh, and um, we did track performance this year as well, uh, although not as closely because uh, there, was a, uh, there were a lot more variable at play. 
uh, we didn't have just a single uh, we didn't reserve a single uh, fund for uh, uh, pure tracking without any leverage we uh, the, the fund that we use for uh, as a reference had uh, several changes in uh, in the leverage that we use in the market that we applied and uh, we ended up with a plus 20 percent which uh i mean it's a positive but uh, it doesn't really mean much considering that the fund is at uh, uh using four time leverage and that uh, at the peak it was at about a thousand uh, percent profit so that's quite a bit of a drop in terms of maximum drawdown uh, so i consider this at, uh, as a uh, performing poorly we underperformed uh, but um, yeah, uh, I think the uh, the best part of the year was actually uh, the last one, uh, not the one where we made a lot of profit, but this one where uh, we I think we're managing to uh, have a, a relatively flat uh, uh, a profit curve, uh, even though the market has uh, touched a new all time high and uh, now it's been like uh, two or three months of going uh, downhill at least from the uh, bitcoin point of view that we're using as a, a general reference so a um, list of things that went right and wrong which i already uh, mentioned what i think went right is uh, actually the maximum drawdown although it was painful it was within the expectations uh, and we didn't incur in, into any liquidations um, by by design the system uh, uh, doesn't allow uh, liquidations because we have a, a per position risk management, uh, namely stop losses, and uh, those are what uh, prevent the catastrophic uh, losses uh, that could otherwise uh, uh, incur into total loss of the fund. But um, yeah, the uh, maximum drawdown was within expectations, uh, more or less. The, the issue is that uh, the expectations uh, were uh, a bit too low in a sense. Uh, we uh, meaning that uh, uh, we knew what was the risk and uh, we were willing to undertake that risk but uh, on a hindsight it would have been better to optimize uh, earlier for uh, slow uh, for uh, reduce the maximum drawdown and um, but I mean this is also a matter of uh, actually being able to put the work into it so uh, thankfully this year we managed to uh, complete the work that we started on the diversification position sizing and uh, the portfolio management which are all uh, 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 integral part of the system now um, and so we, we did uh, renew the focus uh, with, uh, the profit over risk uh, uh, in, instead of uh, simply profit and we started introducing uh, this more uh, generic algorithm uh, algorithms meaning that uh, uh, the algorithms now are really meant to work on multiple markets at once. Uh, I think this is a more uh, reliable approach to really uh, kind of require a portfolio of markets rather than uh, uh, attempting to make uh, algorithms that are uh, really optimal for a few selected markets uh, because uh, individual markets are uh, just by themselves uh, unreliable. Another thing that went right, I think uh, we, uh, I mean, we increased the production of uh, videos like this that I'm doing. Uh, put personally quite a bit of effort uh, on uh, kind of keeping in touch with the user base and uh, make sure that uh, what uh, uh, needed to be uh, reported uh, was reported. And also, I'm happy that uh, we managed to finally add uh, Bybit as an alternative to Binance, uh, not just because this is. Uh, uh, it's a new exchange that uh, was needed, but also because the uh, the work itself of uh, adding at the, an additional exchange um, is going to make it easier to uh, support more exchanges uh, in the future. What went wrong? Uh, yeah, that uh, uh, again the initial complacency with the with the maximum drawdown, uh, with the expected maximum drawdown, and also the initial sense that. Uh, uh, the major altcoins uh, uh, may have been uh, uh, good enough as a form of diversification, uh, something that uh, we uh, eventually realized it was not. Um, another uh, most subtle thing is uh, the pressure to uh, build a system that generates more trades. Uh, this is uh, due in a big part uh, because we... Mm. To have more trades uh, automatically means 
uh, almost automatically means to have a better statistics of uh, backtest. So it, it should make for a more reliable uh, uh, system, one that uh, generates more trades. Although it's not always true, and especially in this case, I guess it wasn't true, uh, because when you have a lot more trades, uh, uh, to some degree, uh, it, it may also uh, correlate to have a system, uh, a set of algorithms that uh, overfit uh, more the market, uh, meaning that uh, they're too, a little bit too much tuned into the past. And um, another reason for I mean. Uh, generating more trades, especially when we didn't have as many markets, so is that uh, uh, we felt a little bit of a pressure from uh, uh, users to uh, have a system that uh, uh, continuously uh, is continuously active. And uh, also, uh, more trades also means more referrals. So our um, the big part of our income comes from uh, the, the actual trading that we do, but also uh, the referrals from the users are uh, a portion of the income and uh, at this point because we generate a lot less trades uh, that's uh, been greatly reduced but um, I mean the, the goal is really that of uh, making more profit but still uh, while developing while we weren't sure whether uh, we really needed to do less or more trades I mean a system that does less or more trades uh, we were we would uh, uh, edge on the side of uh, uh error on the side of more trades because of all this uh, uh all these points uh another problem i would say uh but not really a problem i mean uh i don't tell users uh to try to time the market when somebody asks me when is a good time to come in i would say anytime because you never really know but um uh, because also in the long term even if you incur some loss, ideally, if the system continue, uh, continues to work out as it should, uh, eventually one will make up the losses and uh, go back into profit. Uh, however, there is this tendency, of course, of uh, uh, new users to um, come at times when the, uh, the market is really close to a new all-time high, and, um, and uh, this tends to correlate to a subsequent uh, a uh, drop of the market so uh, what happens is that uh, most of the new users come at a time when uh, it's more likely uh, to uh, the market is more likely to be close to uh, to a drop than to a bull run so um, long term is not really an issue but uh, psychological level is a, can be quite annoying and speaking of that uh, we underestimate a little bit that you know the stress that uh, can derive from drawdowns especially when uh, uh, using uh, uh, leverage because uh, yeah it's very good to see great profits but uh, the drawdowns are, uh, can also be uh, quite lengthy it can take uh, several months and they can be quite frustrating and um, it's easy to kind of uh, see the the worst of it I mean uh, to think the worst of it because uh, um, the general perspective on how the, the management of the risk works is not necessarily too clear because I, I think the human mind tends to extrapolate linearly so uh, current losses may seem like they never end uh, or they, they current losses uh, they may seem like they they're going straight to a complete loss but uh, that's actually not the case uh, if, if one starts to uh, think in terms of uh, uh, percentages rather than quantities i made a video about this that goes more in detail but uh yeah that's the gist of it and um, yeah there were also questions about uh possibly losing more than one uh that what one invests uh this is not possible but uh, there are fears that uh, um, can go around that can uh, frustrate people so to uh conclude on this uh personally i consider 2021 as a pretty valuable year I'm, I'm quite happy at the, where we are at right now. Um, I think it's a very dynamic year that has shown uh, the potential for great profit, uh, the risks, and also highlighted uh, the weaknesses, uh, the stuff that uh, we had to do. Um, and that it gave, it, as we are right now, I have a lot more confidence uh, going forward. So um, it could always go worse. Uh, as it happened, many times because i've been 
I mean, we're in February will be four years uh, that I've been doing uh, uh, algorithmic trading full time, and I've seen a few uh, many times uh, um, a very good uh, profit, and then uh, eventually you find out that they have some weakness, or or maybe you suspect you have some weakness, and then it, it comes uh, to light, and. Uh, what happened in 2021? I'm happy that it's happened this year rather than next year when we'll probably have a, a lot more invested. So it's better uh, sooner than later. And, um, I think, yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with the, what we are, with the diversification, with the, how we change the model for uh, evaluating the, the performance that is now based uh, on the relationship between profit and risk. Uh, the stability that we reached um, and I think uh, I mean next year should be quite good I can't as usual I can't make any promises because uh, it seems the more you promise the the more you uh, you end up into trouble but uh, um, yeah it should go well we'll see only time will tell really uh, but uh, we're definitely in for the long haul as I said uh, I've been here uh, working on this for almost four, four years and um, I'm pretty positive. I've, I've seen uh, uh, there are ups and downs, but overall, I've seen uh, the progress. As the more and more I understand, uh, the more and more I see uh, great potential in this uh, endeavor. So that's pretty much uh, the project that I'm going to drag on uh, for a while, forever. We'll see. So, if you have any comments or questions, I'm always open. Uh, whether it's on uh, uh, YouTube comments or uh, Discord chat or email, whatever. Uh, until then, you know, let's see how it goes. But uh, have fun and uh, see you next time.